All right, ladies. <clears throat> Here's the 1986 Honda TRX 250R. And what I did is I mounted the Honda TRX 400EX full bore plastics uh, to this 86. And I think these full bore plastics came from a 2002 or 2004. Um, but it's pretty much the same through all years. So again, full bore plastics for, for 400EX mounted on a 1986 TRX 250R. Um, but there it is. Um, my old plastics were pretty old and brittle. And for me to replace these would be like 500 bones. So like here they are, like pretty old. So um, I actually got these for fairly cheap, actually for like 50 bucks for the set and the seat and the new seat cover. So I was like, I just, I couldn't pass it up. So um, it did take a lot of cutting to get to mount, but it uh, came out okay. Plus it saves me 500 bucks, but there it is. And the cool thing, one of the things I like about the 86 is it has that cool kind of front nose piece on there, which I've always liked. Gives it a nice good stance. So there it is. Um, I could have did a little bit better on the fitting, but I was, I know I'm not a perfectionist. So I just basically want them to mount and, and be stable. So not too bad at all. I just took these on a 40 mile ride, held up perfect, no issues. Um, so I think I like them. A couple of things I need to do to trim them up, make them even fit a little bit better. But, uh. Not bad at all. Full bore plastics. <clears throat> yeah, I like them. Saves me good amount of money. Saves saves me over five hundred bucks. So here I got my anti vibe stem mounted. Got that for super cheap. Like a steel, so pretty happy. These are some old hand guards I had laying around. A lot of the stuff I just had laying around already from just other parts and other stuff, so mounted up pretty easy. I cut this uh, out for the kicker right here. And what I did is this bolt mount is the uh, rearmost fuel tank mount bolt here. And I just drilled a hole in this to kind of attach these to make these a little more stable. Um, but there it is. Again, that's my silencer for a 2013 KTM or Huseberg. Mounted on here. Runs great. <clears throat> Came with the seat cover. So if you're going to do this mod, just plan. Like, I can't tell you where I cut it. and Well, I can, but... You'll just have to kind of figure it out. Just take your time, cut around stuff, and uh, you'll get it to mount okay. I took my two seat latches that come at the back of the seat. I actually cut, the, cut those completely off and then mounted my old uh, TRX 250R seat mount. And I, and I drilled it into the back of that. And that's what I'm using to, to latch the rear. It came out pretty good. You do have to cut the webbing in the seat um, where it mounts underneath that those those uh, those seat grommets. You have to cut that webbing out um, in order for, to get that to mount. But other than that, it was pretty easy. It just was tedious. A lot of cuts you had to do to get it to look how I wanted it to look. But uh, came out pretty good. One of the things I had to do because I wanted to pull these two things together is I kind of just cut up some old pieces that I cut off and kind of made a a, 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 uh, a mount so I mounted so these tabs will have some place to bite into and then this mounts the fuel tank bolt was drilled into there so that was it nothing uh, too bad at all so again say it's 500 bones and it, and it looks pretty darn good all right